Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and today we're going to be looking at the brand new marketplace updates that Vivi have recently updated us with. Please keep in mind that it's currently 4.30am for me and so I was awake anyway but if my energy isn't quite there that's why. Having said that we're currently on a 0.004 on the dollar price and we're on a low of 0.003978 and a high of 0.004275. Now, literally in the past sort of 20 minutes, Ecomi tweeted out Q&A's Easter eggs, VV market updates, and the end of season one catch up on everything Ecomi with our weekly wrap ups. Now I've looked at this and this looks really interesting. I've done a few calculations, but again, it's 4.30. I haven't looked at everything and uh, let's just jump into it. So weekly wrap up May 15, 2021. Now we've essentially managed to figure out roughly how much the Toki Doki Dragon Girl NFT launch made. Well friends, season one is officially over and there have been plenty to keep everyone occupied over the past week. Whether it was tuning in for a clubhouse for a Q&A, the first ever easter egg to hit, Vivi or the first premium artist release on the platform, we're wrapping it all up so you don't miss any of the details. So we have the first clubhouse Q&A with Vivi Wiki. This week started on a Sunday for the Ecomi fam as Reese popped his clubhouse cherry with the Vivi Wiki crew. If you missed it, you can catch up with the video below in a conversation that covers everything from the Welsh origins of his name, actually that's awesome, to our latest collectible releases and a look into the future of Vivi. I'm Welsh, that's why I say that. It's Bryce in case you're wondering. Big shout out to our Vivi Wiki compatriots. Be sure to follow them on Twitter if you don't already and join their clubhouse room to share the excitement. Now I'm going to have a look at this tomorrow again at 4.30 and I'm looking forward to analysing it and going through it with you tomorrow. But let's look at the Vivi market update. Several updates rolled out this week on Vivi with the majority of them in the market. First and foremost, phase one of our new auction rules is now live. This restricts any new accounts from being able to participate in an auction within the first 72 hours of their account opening. You have to earn your stripes to be a VV collector because this is what we spoke about a few days ago. This is good. It's literally just, you know, no waiting. We're just getting into it. It's always good to see. As you are already aware, if you place the burning bid in an auction, you have 24 hours to pay for your collectible. You can also use this time to add gems to your account if you need them. However, if you fail to pay for an item you have won, you will now also be restricted from the market for three days. Check out the changes in more detail here. Of course, this is literally the video we've already made about new market sorting. In addition to the auction updates, we also added new sorting features to the market. With literally all collectibles in the hands of the people, it was identified that we needed an easier way for users to sort through the available listings for sale, particularly when you are on the landing page for each individual collectible. In addition to the auction updates, we also added new sorting features to the market. With literally all collectibles in the hands of the people, it was identified that we needed an easier way for users to sort through the available listings for sale, particularly when you are on the landing page for each individual collectible. Now, when you look at a collectible available for sale in the market, the items are automatically listed from the lowest to the highest price. So it's much easier to find a price point that you are comfortable with when trying to complete your digital collectible sets. Moving forward, we will also look to separate the available listings between auctions and buy now items so you can choose your adventure. All of what I'm seeing right here is really quality of life updates. And this is what we spoke about in the previous video about how the app actually needs to evolve to a custom, hopefully tens and hundreds of millions of users in the future. We need to see the app develop. And this is what we're seeing, changing listing prices. This week, we also disabled the ability to change the price of your listing while it is active. From here on in, the order to change the price for your collectible for sale, whether it's up for auction or listed at a buy now price, you will need to remove the listing first. Then you can change the price to your heart's desire and place it back for sale. Of course, if your auction item already has bidders, you'll have to see it through to the nail biting finish. And then we have the Omi token queue. Big shout out to the Ecomi development who have completed another back end refactor this week, allowing the Omi token queue to process and all those stuck Omi transactions to make the way into the burn wallet. A lot of people have been asking about this. At the time of writing, there is now more than 4.28 billion Omi permanently removed from circulation. Please note though that some users cannot see their latest accurate balance, which may cause the transfers to fail if they think they have more Omi than they actually have. The development team will be working on this over the coming week and will update you when that work is complete. And of course, I'll let you know as well on this channel. Again, we want to extend our sincerest thanks to everyone in the Yokomi family for your patience while this part of the system was re-engineered. And again, they are building this, they're evolving this, etc. Okay, and now to the Dragon Girl drop. And before we do this, I want to quickly say, if you're interested in this channel, if you like what you see, if you've been watching for a while, subscriptions always very much appreciated. And I'm on Twitter, post quite often to there too. But that being said, let's take a look at the Dragon Girl drop. On Thursday, we saw the first premium artist release on Vivi. Dragon Girl by Toki Doki artist and co-founder Simone Legno was a truly beautiful piece showcasing Simone's Japanese-inspired influences. Again, how awesome does that look? Available in four different styles and a low run of 
14.5k additions, Dragon Guild sold out in less than 15 minutes. Congratulations to all of the lucky collectors who managed to snag one off. Only 888 ultra rare editions. Now, Ritmos get animated. Coinciding with Simone's release on the platform, we also release an update to the ultra rare Tokidoki Unicorno. Ritmo, this raster inspired collectible is now fully animated, both in your showrooms and in augmented reality. If you don't own a Ritmo, you can still check out his new moves in the Vivi store or collect your own in the market. And of course, here we have, and we covered this a couple of days ago, Discord voice chats. This week, we also opened the first Discord Clubhouse voice chat in the VB Discord server. Hit this link to join the VB fam. I would definitely recommend this. I've been listening in. It's been really, really insightful listening to everyone's opinions on Omi, on VB, etc. I'm still waiting on the collectible delivery. As of today, all pending deliveries should now be in users' accounts. If you did not have enough gems to process the transaction, it is likely your gem balance will be in the negative. And when you add more gems to your account, it will rebalance. We appreciate your patience while the devs worked on the delivery mechanism. And finally, VB Season 1 is officially over. It has been an absolutely incredible six months since the first ever VB collectible release. We've seen the first appearance of some truly world-class brands, our first collaborations with the first 2D and 3D releases and premium sculptures to boot. We want to extend another huge thank you and congratulations to everyone who has been on this journey so far. You will forever hold bragging rights. I think we have actually already read all of this. I think this was in the previous blog post. That said, if you haven't seen the Season 1 recap yet, check it here and get ready for Season 2 kicking off Thursday, May 20 with, and then something's coming May 20, which is four days from now. Very, very exciting stuff. Like I said in the last video, Omi is the way it is and it's going to take a while, but we're getting there, I think. And I think as long as we keep being patient, we'll see good dividends in the end. But with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are on all of this. Omi, Ecomi, Vivi, and the latest NFTs. And I just realized before I did the outro, I did some of the numbers on the Tokidoki Dragon Girl NFT. And this is how much they would have made from the ultra rares, 8,799. And then this number is on the lower side of what they made overall. I essentially assumed the lowest price times however many drops that were sold. And of course, this number only takes into account the lowest price sold, $49.99. But of course, we had ultra rares as well that sold for 100 essentially. So my guess is that they saw roughly $800,000 in the first 15 minutes. Ridiculous. That being said, well done, Vivi. Awesome stuff to see. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.